Wow, man, it's been rough for the past several days. Bloodbath everywhere. Anyways, let's talk about Tessera Enterprise, or TSNP, that's reverse merging with Humble. The Financial Industry Regulatory Authority has approved Humble's name change, one for four reverse split, and stock ticker name change. In this video, we'll show you my thoughts on what all this means, why the sell off today, and if you should be worried. I will also share with you the technical analysis and what I plan to do next. You will most likely want to watch all the way to the end of the video, so stick around. Swedekup, that's hello in Thai, and welcome to Quantum Finance. My name is Anthony, and I'm a former engineer and data analytics turned entrepreneur and investor. My prior career, I was very successful in creating predictive models for Fortune 500 companies in Silicon Valley using historical data to predict future outcomes. I applied my knowledge to my own portfolio, and in the past 12 months, grew it more than 550%. In this channel, I focus on high growth and disruptive technology stocks for short term momentum trades and long term investments. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back and thank you for your support. Please help us grow this channel by hitting the sub button below. Make sure to hit the notification button so you get my latest video update. While you're at it, do hit and like and share the video. I will see you down there. Please note that this video is for entertainment purpose only. I'm not licensed. However, that does not mean that I won't present you with facts and trading ideas that will supercharge up your portfolio. No BS and straight to the point. So let's get right into it. It's happening! Humble Inc. announced today that the FINRA or the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority has processed the company's corporate actions and has changed its name from Humble LLC to Humble Inc. In in addition, Humble X executed a one for four reverse split and made other changes to its share structure, including the creation of restricted preferred classes of shares, which will be issued to its former Humble LLC and prospective investors. According to Humble COO and corporate security Jeffrey Henshaw, he stated that, quote, the company's board of directors concluded that it was important to quell the volatility in the share price. Prospective investors and current shareholders were concerned that it was difficult to pinpoint the true value of the common shares. Furthermore, more, this will force outstanding short positions to cover their position. The board was also sympathetic to the need not to wipe out the holdings of the shareholders and determined that this small reversal split would satisfy both requirements." Unquote. Per ShortSqueeze.com, short interest has grown by 894% or about 10.8 million shares being shorted on TSNP stocks. In the short term, with regards to the 1 for 4 reverse split, yes, investors are selling off because that's a negative catalyst. Personally, I think a short squeeze is brewing and there is profit to be made. So hold in there guys. Humble started out with 5 billion shares back in November 2020. Currently Humble has about 3.9 billion shares outstanding. My personal thought on this is that I believe the move is to reduce the number of floats in the market in order to be in financial compliance to be uplisted onto NASDAQ. Note that for this to happen, Humble stock has to be at a minimum of $4 or above. TSNP was sitting right above the $1 mark this morning and after the press release, obviously it dipped to 85 cents at the close of the day. Brian Foote, CEO of Humble, has made it public that he is working to rein in the numbers of outstanding shares since November 17, 2020. So the one for one split is not a surprise to me. As a result of the reverse split, Humble's stock symbol will change to TSNPD on February 25, 2021, which is tomorrow, and then to HMBL on March 26, 2021. I know TSNPD SMP took a beating today. That's because I think a lot of investors just don't fully understand Humble, its technology, and where it's heading. Take a look at this chart by ARK Invest. Look at how much effort JP Morgan has spent in terms of dollar amount and numbers of years to establish itself as a key player in the financial market. Now look at how fast the Cash App and Venmo, who have captured their annual active uses in the millions in relatively short period with its technology breakthrough. Now look at the NFCW's chart. The number of digital wallet uses globally will increase from 2.3 billion in 2019 to 4 billion in 2024, and global non cash transactions will grow to nearly 1.1 trillion in 2023 from the 708.5 billion in 2019, according to the World Payments Report 2020. Do you see where I'm going with this? Yes. Big players and existing incumbents such as PayPal, Square, Cash App, Alipay, and others can nip at Humble's butts. But at the same time, I also know that fintech space is still in its infant stage and it is huge. Whereas each of the incumbents have a stronghold in their home country, Humble is already outpacing them in the global markets that is underserved and is offering new technology on a different levels. The key advantage is that Humble is powered by blockchain, DGB or Digibyte, and is faster than the incumbents and 40 times faster than Bitcoin 
coins with nearly fee free. This is a game changer. I think it will take the competitors time to overhaul their legacy system to catch up with Humble that is starting from scratch or from the Block 30 technology. On top of this, Humble is building its Web 3.0 platform where a user can read, write, and transact. Also, if you know anything about blockchain's attractiveness, it's that it is decentralized, whereas its incumbents app are centralized. This is Humble's moat. This is how Humble differentiates itself from the pack. Humble is a disruptive technology company. Let's look at the daily chart. TSMP closed at 85 cents today. It was down about 7 cents today or 7.59%. It was up as high as $1.22 earlier today but had a sell off because the investors didn't like the 1 for 4 reverse split. In general, this is taken negatively. In Humble's case, I think it is the right thing to do. It formed a bearish and golfing candlestick today. Also note that the overall market sentiment is still in a correction. The market is retesting itself today and hopefully things will resume to normal by sometime next week. Because of this, I do foresee that TSNP will continue to dip along with the market. It will continue to trade sideways for a while before it resumes upward. Long term, I believe Humble is a 10x bagger. Just wait once it is on the Nasdaq and when it gets more media attention, you will not see Humble at this price ever again. My price target by the end of the year is 10 to 12 dollars easily and I can foresee it being more than that in the future. I didn't get a chance to pick up more shares today but tomorrow, you know it, I will be buying. As I've stated before, Humble World will test your patience and conviction. Stay calm and this investment will mint more millionaires. And hopefully one of those millionaires is you. So there you have it. If you find the content of value, please leave a comment below. Do share, like, and subscribe if you have not already done so. Also hit the notification bell for my next video. Now let's go make some moolahs.